it's the season for the great outdoors. So today, we are installing, testing, and reviewing an outdoor rated TV. This is a 43 inch outdoor rated TV from Silbox. This is the Deck Pro 2.0. This outdoor TV has an IP55 waterproof rating and is 99% dust proof. And yes, we are gonna spray this TV with some water. And to be honest, I've never sprayed a TV with water, so this should be interesting. The Deck Pro 2.0 comes with 1000 nit brightness, which is optimal for partial sun. And this TV can withstand temperatures from negative 22 degrees Fahrenheit all the way up to 122 degrees Fahrenheit. And our Las Vegas temperatures will definitely put this to the test. The Deck Pro 2.0 is constructed of scratch proof aluminum which gives it maximum durability. Unlike most outdoor TVs that do not come with speakers, this TV includes Dolby Atmos speakers, which should provide a totally immersive experience. However, with outdoor TVs, it's usually recommended to use a sound bar for better sound quality. But we'll find out if that's true during the test phase. And additionally, this TV has built-in Google Assistance and voice control. The back of the TV contains all the ports and they're enclosed behind this waterproof panel. We have two USB ports, three HDMI ports, an RJ45 connection, optical out, TV antenna, and the power connection. And this TV has wireless connectivity as well. The location we chose for the Deck Pro 2.0 is directly under our patio cover, centered vertically and horizontally. This location gives us partial sun at dusk and at dawn, and the rest of the day is completely shaded. However, when it rains, and yes, it does rain in Las Vegas, this TV will definitely get wet. So cross your fingers that it's actually waterproof. So first, I'm gonna install the full motion wall mount bracket to the wall. And this wall mount bracket is also from Silvox. So first thing you have to do is find the studs in the wall. So simply use a stud finder. Once you find the studs, you can then mark the holes and start drilling. I always start with the pilot hole first and then go to the bigger drill bit. Once you get all the holes drilled, place the bracket on the wall right over the holes and screw all the bolts into the holes. Make sure each bolt is very, very tight. Next, we'll install the bracket to the back of the TV. And then finally, we'll hang the TV on the wall bracket. Pretty easy. So next, we need some power for this TV. To get power to this wall, we'll use the power outlet on the other side of this wall in our master bedroom. We can tie in the new outdoor power outlet to this outlet. And for this installation, I called my good friend Mike from JDM Automations out of Las Vegas. And all of Mike's company information is listed below. If you need some low voltage work, or maybe some new power outlets, or you need a big screen TV installed to your wall, give Mike a call and tell him Ultimate Tech Hub sent you, and you'll get that Ultimate Tech Hub discount. And yes, this power outlet is outdoor rated, which means it'll be waterproof, which is absolutely necessary because we're spraying this TV with some water. And this area of the patio does get wet from rain. All right, now that we have power on the wall, we can go ahead and hang the TV. Now we can plug it in and turn it on. And FYI, this is a Google TV, so you should sign into your Google account to use this TV. All right, now that we have power and the TV is on, we can now test the picture quality, the sound quality, the apps, and lastly, the durability. And yes, we're gonna spray some water on this TV. Pretty cool. But first, let's take a look at the video quality. The Deck Pro 2.0 has nine picture modes. There's standard, dynamic, movie, eco, gentle, vivid, sport, game, and personal. I found that the best video settings for daytime were dynamic and 100% brightness. So most of our daytime testing was in dynamic mode. When I tested the TV at night, 
I use standard mode or gentle mode with about 80% brightness. Dynamic at 100% brightness was way too bright at night. So let's talk about the picture quality. As you can see, the blues and greens are pretty amazing and all the colors are vibrant and crisp. And just a heads up, this TV is not a QLED. It's a standard UHD TV. But nevertheless, for an outdoor TV, this is pretty impressive. And one additional setting that we used for this testing was temperature mode. We set it at cool, which can give the whites a slight blue tint. Once again, the video quality for this TV is outstanding. But what about the audio quality? Well, let's test the Dolby Atmos speakers. Dolby Atmos can manipulate individual sounds in 3D space. This is stereo. And this is Dolby Atmos. The Deck Pro 2.0 has five sound modes. Standard, movie, music, news, and personal. And we tested the audio using movie mode, which provides more powerful sounds for a cinematic experience. As far as the sound goes, these speakers are pretty impressive. It gives quite a bit of bass and pretty decent mids and highs. However, if you're an audiophile and you're really into audio, then you should probably get a soundbar for this TV. And Silvox does sell outdoor soundbars, and we'll have links to those soundbars in the description below. So make sure to check them out. As I mentioned earlier, this is a Google TV. So as far as the apps go, you have plenty of options from Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime, Plex Media Server, and a whole bunch of free content. And this means you don't need a cable antenna to enjoy this TV. All you need is an internet connection and then use the available apps. Easy. So the Deck Pro 2.0 has amazing video quality and pretty impressive audio quality and tons of apps. But the question is, is this outdoor TV durable? Well, let's spray some water on it and find out. All right, here we go. And to my surprise, this TV is waterproof. Unbelievable. And this is the first time I've ever sprayed a TV with water. And you should only do this for an outdoor rated TV that has an IP55 waterproof rating. And never ever spray an indoor TV with water. You'll ruin it. The only things that I would change about this TV is that there should be an auto brightness feature that detects the sunlight. So when it's sunny outside, it's 100% brightness. And then at night, it would automatically adjust the brightness to a lower setting like say 50%, this would be a pretty cool feature. And my only other complaint for this TV, it's just not big enough for the wall that I installed it on. The optimal size TV for this wall would be a 65 inch or 75 inch. When it comes to overall durability, the Deck Pro 2.0 is very durable. And this TV is waterproofed with a silicone seal. So when it rains in Las Vegas or snows, it should be okay. And in the future, if that silicone seal does crack, you can reseal it. And because all these silicone seals are behind the TV, if you reseal it sloppily, no one's gonna see it. And another great feature, all the connections are under the TV, facing down, and are concealed within the waterproof panel. And that means all the cords run out the bottom of the TV and are sealed with this black foam to keep all the water and bugs out of the panel. And the Dolby Atmos speakers are also covered within the aluminum shell and are facing down, which means water can't get up into the speakers. Our water test simulated a light rain and then a heavier rain. And remember, not all outdoor TVs are made the same. Some TVs are made for partial sun, while others are made for full sun. It's all about the nit brightness. 1000 nit for partial sun, and 2000 nit for full sun. So all in all, the Deck Pro 2.0 is the perfect TV for under your patio in a well-shaded area. And the full motion wall mount allows for angling the TV in different directions. So we can watch our TV when we're in our pool. Pretty cool. And make sure to keep an eye out for more outdoor TV reviews like this. And hopefully our next outdoor TV review will be a 65 inch QLED. And guys and gals, if you're interested in indoor TVs, then watch these videos right here. And with that guys, make sure to like, share, subscribe, and comment. And for God's sakes, smash the bell icon. And I'll see you in the next video real soon. High five. Peace.